Is couchsurfing free? Short answer is yes, but they say you never get something for nothing. And couchsurfing is no exception. So let's give a proper answer to that question. Hello everyone! If you don't know me yet, I am Mary Jane. I'm a full-time traveler and I make videos about super cheap traveling every week. So please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to get more material about the topic. And if you too are on Instagram, make sure to check out my profile where I post almost every day. Before we start, if you don't have a clear idea on how couchsurfing works, hit pause now and go watch this video I made where I quickly explain you what you need to know about couchsurfing in general. Couchsurfing is a social network and a service, so there are always three terms involved. The host, the surfer, and Couchsurfing itself as a company. In this video we will focus on the surfer's point of view, because that's what you are if you clicked on this video probably. So let's say it very clear. Couchsurfing is a free service and it's free in two regards. First, you don't owe any money to the company that provides you the service. So I'm talking about the website, the app, the live chat and so on. Second, you don't owe any money to the person who literally hosts you at his house. Made that clear, there are some remarks to make. Couchsurfing may be free, but like everything else, it comes with costs. For you as a surfer, the first cost is in terms of time, because you have to research in order to find a host, you have to study his profile and you have to write a couch request. To me, all that takes a couple of hours every time. Second cost is in terms of comfort. Your host will make sure that you feel great in his home, but it's still not your home, nor it is a hotel room. You can't do whatever you want, you can't leave everything messy, you can't procrastinate on cleaning up, you can't do your own business every time you don't feel like interacting. Third cost is in terms of certainty. This factor I feel is one of those that keep people away from hosting, from surfing the most. Because couch surfing is not like booking a hotel room. You choose it, you book it, you got a receipt. You need to contact a potential host, wait for the answer, and if it's yes, you arrange a meeting. Then there could be small accidents that let you wait outside of the house, maybe for hours with all your luggage, tired and smelly, and you just have to take that chance. Just like you have to accept any kind of arrangement you will find at your host place. If the bathroom is dirty, if the couch is not comfortable enough, if the house is smelly, which are, by the way, things that I can guarantee you almost never happen. You have to accept it. Now for the host. To welcome you in his house, he has some costs. Many hosts have a full-time job. For them, the first cost is in terms of time. They take the time to read your request, among others, to answer you and to arrange your arrival. Then, when you are there, they set the schedule so that it somehow fits your presence. In other words, they make room for you in their daily routine. And that is already something a surfer should be already very thankful for. Plus, in terms of money, you are still using their things. Their electricity, their water, their tools, their toilet paper and so on. And often a host will also offer you his food, especially when you first arrive. And let's not forget, there is also a cost in terms of personal space too. So please, when you surf, do understand all that and do not give for granted the hospitality that someone is offering you. A host's place is not a free hotel room. Couchsurfing is based on reciprocity and exchange. You are not a client there, you are a guest. Lastly, the service that the company provides is free. It is a free website, free app, free chat. I don't know how much the founders and the team earn and how, since they don't have advertising on their website, but I'm sure they busted their asses off to build all that, to keep it running and to build a wonderful community. There is an annual fee that you can pay if you want to get verified especially as a surfer, but the service is still completely usable even if you are not verificated. Plus, the fee is proportional to each country's GDP. How cool is that? To wrap it up, I just want to say, if you are doing couch surfing, you don't have to pay any money to anyone. 
but remember that your host is facing some costs in order to host you. So make sure to be thankful to him and to pay him back somehow. The best way to do that is to add value to his life with your presence. Be positive and supportive. Be inspirational and be understanding. Each host will much likely be so with you as well. Keep the house clean and if possible, leave it even cleaner than how you found it. Deliver some value. Can be material, can be behavioral, can be spiritual, can be all of them. If you do so, you will provide an enriching experience for both your host and yourself. And that is exactly how couch surfing is supposed to work. Like everything else, couch surfing has a cost, but the human value in return is priceless. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, dislike it and let me know in the comments what you agreed or disagreed on. If you want to learn how to travel cheap, you are in the right place. Subscribe to my channel and watch the videos that show you how to travel cheap even in expensive countries, because I do it all the time. Also, you can download for free my quick packing guide that will allow you to pack everything you need for any kind of travel with no stress in one hand luggage only. I leave you all the links in the description below. Let me know in the comments what doubts you still have about couch surfing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!